Yo, what's up everybody? Today I'm coming at you with a video on profit trailer and PT feeder settings. So I'm gonna give you an overview on some of the settings in my app settings folder for PT feeder and how it kind of translates into profit trailer for those of you who haven't done a bunch of research on that yet. Um, but first I'm gonna look at this sea of red that we're dealing with. This is the first time I've looked at this today. 488 billion man we've taken a hit let's refresh this and see 485 yeah this is rough <laughs> hey populace is up up 11 percent well, that's cool um <laughs> at least there's some people making some money well there's one two three four five coins in the top hundred that are making it anyone any money so just to preface this video we need to be aware that it's unlikely profit trailer is going to be a money pit during a market that is just wiped off you know a hundred billion dollars or so right um, that's something everybody needs to be aware of that this isn't a printing press you know you're not you're not becoming the federal reserve by buying profit trailer you are you're getting an edge over the rest of the people in the market, all the rest of the traders and stuff, because this thing is working for you 24 seven. But at the same time, when the markets go belly up like this, it becomes very difficult for anyone to profit. Um, my profit trailer has made a couple trades today, hardly anything. Um, I'm sitting on some deep bags. Okay. This has been shown in my other videos, uh, trig. I'm sitting on this one. I'm just going to hold it, right? I'm sitting on BQX and I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold all these coins and it is what it is, right? Like some of them aren't so bad, especially like, I mean, this one that DCA three times salt, um, PIVX. I like Ven a lot. I actually hold a bunch of, uh, V chain. I just did a video on that. If you don't know what V chain is, um, link, whatever. So, this is just what you're going to see. You're going to see a sea of red and, and that's as simple as it gets, but let's just kind of dive right into it. So this is the crow settings and I downloaded these about a week ago or so. And if you don't know what this is, it's the crypto crow. He has a YouTube channel too. He did a settings download. Um, I altered these quite a bit from what he did. And I actually only used his settings for like, less than a day and I wasn't like planning on using his settings for a while so it's normal but um you know just so you guys are aware where this is coming from you guys can go download this from his YouTube channel whatever so you'll go into the app settings and this is what I'm working with get out of here all right this is what I'm working with here so I'm using the EMA spread and I more or less changed this back to how I liked it. Um, but I, I changed this yesterday and yesterday it looked like the markets were going to come back, but we all make mistakes sometimes. Right? So I had my buy value at negative 1.5 and this is basically just the percentage when you want your profit trailer to start trailing uh, a coin. Basically this is the trigger when it's going to start looking at a coin and get ready, gearing up to buy it. So generally speaking, this is a little bit more negative for most people's settings. And I, I recommend having a little more negative. So maybe like negative 2.5, negative 3.5, somewhere in that range. Um, cost, this is the percentage of that you're willing to allocate to each trade. And this is a percentage of your entire portfolio. So if you have one Bitcoin, you're willing to spend 4% of that Bitcoin per trade. Um, the DCA enabled, I have mine set to a little bit more of a negative number than some. And the reason for that is in a, in a negative market, I, I want to capture the lowest possible value. And when this thing, when things are dropping, you know, by a hundred billion over the whole entire market cap, things can drop really significantly. So I set this a little bit higher. It didn't seem to help much. Um, and, and I think part of it is because I have this set so aggressively where if I had this set to maybe negative four, 
And then my DCA enabled would be at negative 9% because negative 4 plus negative 5 is negative 9. So um, I really only had DCA starting up at negative 6.5. So, you know, I mean, this, this would be great for a sideways market. And that's something I should also note is profit trailer is it really is a money machine during a sideways market, but that is only true when you're not holding a bunch of bags from a, a really deep downtrend. So say we start trading sideways for the next month, it's still not going to be a money maker for me because I'm holding these bags. So if it does trade sideways, I'll probably put in more Bitcoin to the bot um, to to my account and let it play with more Bitcoin and try and make up the profits um, during this sideways market because it's going to be a while until these bags come back into the positives, especially these really negative ones. I may never see uh, a positive for, for six months or a year. And if that's the case, then I might just let them crawl back as far as they can and then maybe I'll sell them. But anyway, so let's see. I won't get into some of these. Um, DCA max cost. Let's see. So, okay. DCA min buy balance. I'm not going to go over all these guys. If you really want to, to know what some of these are, go to the profit trailer wiki and you can find all of this stuff. So like this is the buy value. There's a buy value offset calculation. This is the profit trailer one. This was the PT feeder one. So I have these links all over my videos. And I really think everybody should go and get familiar with this stuff. Like this is the buying and selling strategies. And you just click through here, the pairs properties, the DCA properties, all of this stuff. And you just can control find control F and you can search the document for whatever these are. And it'll give you an in-depth detailed explanation of what these are. So my DCA min buy balance is at 17%. So I don't want it to use um, all of my Bitcoin to DCA. So I leave this, a lot of people leave this at 20. I leave mine at around 17, 15. Sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I let it get a little bit lower because I wanted it to DCA more in this negative market. But DCA sell trigger, this is when it's going to start looking to sell your DCA bag. So once it gets in profit by 0.3%, it will start to look to get rid of your bag. Um, I'm using the gain strategy for DCA sale sales. Um, you can use the high BB. This should be in here somewhere. Um, I, I switched the page, but yeah, you can use high BB. You can use other sell strategies, but um, DCA sell value. This is the target. I'm looking to get to at 0 0.6. I'm okay with getting rid of a DCA bag a little bit lower at a little bit lower of a profit um, than I am for my regular pairs. Some people will disagree with this and say, oh, you've been holding the bag so long, you should just get rid of it uh, or you should wait until it gets, you know, higher into the positives. But, um, you know, that's to each their own, right? You, you have to make that call for yourself. Um, DCA trailing buy at 0.15, DCA trailing profit at 0.15. So basically it's just, it's trying to capture this extra 0.15 percent profit so it's going to look to get to uh, 0.75 if it can and if it drops below then it will sell at a 0.6 percent profit these sell only mode pairs these are the pairs that are uh, th this is from the crow the crypto crow and he claims that he did some research on this and and found that these are all pump and dump coins or these are just basically shit coins so I used his for this video purposes, I have changed mine a little bit. Like some people really like Dogecoin. Some people like I'm holding Trig. It's in here somewhere. Um, so, you know, you, you can change this around. If you like a certain coin in here, just delete it out of here. If you are holding a coin and you use these settings, if you say you're holding Trig like I am and I use these settings, it's never going to buy Trig again. It'll only sell it. So keep that in mind. Um, yeah, DCA will not be enabled for trig. So keep that in mind. Um, let's see. Min buy balance. We're at 7%. So this is basically the amount of Bitcoin in percentage that I want to keep on my 
account at all times. So it will never go below 7%. So I'm always going to hold 7% of my portfolio in Bitcoin, which is really small. A lot of people keep this a lot higher. So if you're just starting out, keep that to like 70%, you know, keep it high, just test your settings. Um, if, if you don't want to get stuck in bags, especially in a market like this, where Bitcoin should be a good store of value, or you can, you know, if you're going to trade with Ethereum pairs, then, you know, keep this min buy balance to a lot is, or, or keep your bot on sell only mode in this market. Um, let's see, this is the min buy price. So this is where the smallest number that you're willing to pay for a coin. <laughs> so that's easy. Min buy volume. This is in terms of Bitcoin. So is this. This is also in Bitcoin value. Um, 150 Bitcoin in volume per 24 hours. So my min profit here is at 0.75%. And I think that's pretty good. I change this sometimes. I'll change it lower. I'll change it higher, especially in a down market. You can change it lower. Um, if we're in a big bull run, then you can change that higher. Um, it is really personal preference, but basically what I want to get into real quick before I finish this video off is these pairs. So you're sitting in, or not these pairs, these folders, these, this is really important. Um, where did my finder go? Okay. So I'm not really going to get into profit trailer. Basically what PT feeder does is it creates these pair folders, um, for everything. So, okay, let's go here to text edit. So what profit trailer does is it, it will take, God, I hate this thing. It's so annoying. As you can see, do not modify anything as feeders in control. So what it does is it's going to take your, your buy strategy and it's going to do this for every single coin. It's using whatever market you're in. And right now we're in the boring market. So it's using this and it's going to calculate for every pair based on what you have underneath your boring settings and your app settings for feeder. So it's going to go through every single coin and give it different buying values and different trading requirements, right? So every coin is different. So that's what feeder is really cool. That's, that's the whole reason feeder is cool. So you get to create offsets here in this part of your app settings folder based on the market conditions and what you want the bot to do. So this is the way Crypto Crow has his setup and these are the offsets that he uses and they seem to work fine except in a really negative market like it is now and you're going to end up with bags. It's just that simple. And so this is what... I was using something very similar to this and I got the same results. So it is what it is. But, um, as you can see, like my pairs property, this gets overwritten anytime that it changes the market and it will use these settings to create these settings here in my pairs properties. So one last thing that I'll go over, this is PT feeder now, and you can go over these indicators. And a lot of people will use this, these base settings for all of their folders for their super bear, bear, boring, bull, and super bull. Okay. Now the reason for that is because you can, you can give offsets here and I'll do a more in depth video on this in the future because this is something that I'm going to lose people. But I did a video on the, the EMA spreads and simple moving averages and whatnot. Basically you can decide what EMA uh, values you want for every given market. So I can go into bear and I can change my EMAs in the bear market. I could change this to seven and I could change this to one and I won't actually do this, but you can do that based on what you think the best settings are for each given market. So that's what makes profit feeder really cool. And it will go in and it will update all of your pairs files based on how you set these up, how you set up each folder individually in here. And, and that's about it. So with that guys comment, 
uh, what you guys think of my settings, what you guys think of uh, if, if you guys have any other ideas. And then subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next one.